These are the steps for setting up a VPN connection on the iPhone for CP Mobile. So what you'll need to do is go into the settings menu, go down to the general options, go to network, scroll down to VPN, add a VPN connection. On this screen you'll need the description, uh, usually just the customer name, you'll need the server IP address, uh, you'll need the login account. You'll want to leave RSA Secure ID off. Enter the password for your VPN connection. With the L2TP connection, you'll have a shared secret password. You need to enter that there. And it appears to work best if you have send all traffic turned on. We'll not enter a proxy information. Once you're done uh, with the entry screen, you'll hit the Save button up top. Once you get the CP Mobile app downloaded onto the iPhone, you'll need to launch it and configure it to connect to the CP services that are running on your CounterPoint server. Uh, to do this, you need to make sure that your VPN connection is up and running. You can check that by the little VPN icon that's up here on the toolbar. Um, the first time that you run CP Mobile, it'll actually prompt you for the server connection. If you need to change that down the road, you can go into the settings button there and then go to change server. Um, I've not been able to get network discovery to work over the VPN. You might be able to do that if you're running on a Wi-Fi connection. Just go to manual entry um, and you'll type in, um, according to the CP Mobile help documents, you type in the server name and a colon and then the port that the CP services is running on. Uh, I've not actually got the DNS resolution to work yet through the VPN, so in uh, this case I just used the IP address of the server. That's 192.168.100.41 colon and then the uh, host port that is used by CP services that's usually 51968 um, you can find that in the environment settings. Uh, in uh, If you go into CounterPoint, uh, System, View, uh, Environment, uh, it'll list that there. There we go. And then you'll be presented with a login prompt. So after you log in, uh, the first time, it'll start downloading uh, a set of objects that it caches in the CP Mobile app. And if you notice, um, in between there, I actually lost my VPN connection. So that's something you have to check. Uh, iPhone apparently has a bug that um, has a one minute timeout on VPN connection if there's no activity within a minute's time it will uh, disconnect the VPN. To reconnect the VPN connection, you have to go back out, go to settings, then on the main screen hit the VPN tab. And you see it connecting up there. And the VPN is back online. So, as I was saying, the first time you log in, it's going to download uh, a set of objects that get cached in CP Mobile. Um, you're also going to be presented with a uh, workgroup selection screen. These are all the workgroups that you have rights to. Um, so you'll choose your workgroup uh, that you want to connect to. The first time you connect to a workgroup, it's going to prompt you. Uh, as to whether you want to uh, set up this device as a workstation in that work group, which you'll of course say yes. So, um, quick look through the application. We've got two modules here, point of sale, item lookup. Uh, only going to take a look at the item lookup for right now. We're still working on the setup of the point of sale side. You can also go in and look at your details of your session. You can see who you're logged in as, 
what your login time was, what the workstation name was, uh, if there's a drawer or a station that you're connected to. Um, also, you can see the server that you're connected to and what version of the CounterPoint software it's running. Go back to the main menu, item lookup. So, by default, there's nothing in the item lookup screen. Um, you have to actually start typing. And it'll start doing a search through the item catalog. Um, at some point, you can actually cancel it and it will sh bring back a list of um, the items that it's found already. So let me do something that I know is going to have a result. We'll let that search for just a minute. So you can see the uh, connection's not the greatest from where we're at right, in, right now, so it's probably a pretty slow connection. Okay, so I moved the phone to a spot where I've got a little better signal. So we'll do the search again here. And I've got a part number that we'll look up. So you can see it comes back with a list of items. We can go into the item lookup and we can do an inventory quantity lookup. It's going to tell us if that item is in stock at any of the locations.